Hey guys, Jason here. So, um, uh, I was going to show you how I do the tails here, how I make these tails work. What you want to do is you want to go down, get you some, uh, some of these little springs, a uh, little package of them, get two of them. That's what I did on the other one anyway. Okay, and so what they're going to do is the springs are going to run from here to the tail to hold the furling mechanism a little stiffer because as you can see it just kind of so it just flops around real easy it doesn't uh, without it it doesn't uh, track the wind very well the tail just flips around and the blades kind of go all over the place so you got to stiffen it up in order to make these work so just uh, take my drill here and uh, drill a hole right about there, I think. Okay. And what I'm going to do is um, take, I get these little, uh, they're self tapper, little self tapping screws here. And this is Phillips head. And I take this and the springs and I'll, I'll stick it on there and then I'll show you what I do next. All right, back in a second. Okay guys, now that you got this one on there, um, you stretch it out and you figure out whereabouts you want it on the tail and you drill a little hole there. Get your little self tapper here and uh, and you attach it there. Um, another thing I found is that you take these springs and here let me set this down so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Let me put it. I need a I need something. <laughs> okay. So you can stretch out these springs and you could just squish the spring together and it kind of makes one big spring. Now you could do that, but it, I'm just going to stack it together like so. Put the screw through. Get my screwdriver. Tighten it on there. Okay. There you go. That's how I stiffen up my floppy tail. It still has a furly mechanism, still furls, but just not as early. Okay. Now what I do is I got the sign board here. And you take the sign board and you lay it kind of like so. And go over here and grab your trusty permanent marker. And I just kind of eyeball it from the top to bottom and just kind of get it centered. And where I want it, uh, as far as forward and backwards, the signboard. Then I'll just put a mark, and a mark over here. And then, then I'll use the curve of the tail itself to draw a line that goes all the way back. And I'll show you what I mean, because I've already done it. that and then I take my scissors and I'll cut that up and then I'll attach it to the tail um, now this uh, sign board let me show you again what it is 
This is just, it's like cardboard, but it's plastic. Made for uh, signs. I don't know, you might be able to get it at like an arts and crafts store too, maybe. But uh, that's what that stuff is, plastic stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna be using my big old rusty nasty scissors. These are my shop scissors. <laughs> But they work really good for cutting this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then I'll show you how I attach it. Alright. Talk to you in a little bit. Okay guys. Now, after you get it cut out. Um, what I do. Is I take and I press this down. And then I take my drill. And I drill a couple of little holes. I always make sure you put something underneath of it. So that you don't <laughs> drill into your floor or whatever. So, always put something underneath it. So now what do you do? Now, I take, and I, I want it on this side. This is the uh, side that you put the spring on. I like it on this side, because I think it might create maybe a little more drag just because of that little tiny edge. I don't know, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, so I take these self tapper screws in there. Put this one in here. It's hard to do. Now I'm filming at the same time. So now I come down here. Just line it up. And I... Hard to do with one hand. I kind of do like that. And then I look for the other hole up top here. Back in the hole. And then I just... Oh man, this is hard to do with filming at the same time. And then you just screw it down. Back on the drill. Let the drill do it. Oh well. So there. That one. And do this one. So anyway. Get that one on there. And then Made me a new tail to make this uh, track the wind better. Now you just want to tighten it up so that it just barely pushes on the plastic. You don't want to squish the plastic. So anyway, oh man, I just screwed it to my toolbox. <laughs> I swear. There. Okay. So there it is, guys. Um, now I gotta set up my pole for it, my mounting pole. But as you can see, that just added a large area to my tail, a big area. Hopefully, stay pointed into the wind. And by adding the uh, springs, this little um, keeps the furling tail from just flipping right out of the wind. Is as often as it used to. And remember, you can make your tail any shape you want to, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just decided to make it look a little bit better than my other tail I made. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's how I do uh, uh, make my little Chinese turbine work. Um, so that's what I do, and it seems to work. So. Uh, all right, well, talk to you later. Oh, and also, when you go down to the hardware store to buy a pole to mount this on, I took this little uh, clamp piece off and I took it with me so that I could test it on all the poles and make sure I found one that it fit on the best. So, just a little helpful tent, uh, tip. So, if you guys want to play around with one of these too, um, hopefully this will help you out. 
All right. Talk to you later. Bye.